just not having someone at the end of the day to be like, hey, today was a rough day. I feel like I've got to be in two places at once. It's trying to coordinate those things and make sure both kids are taken care of and making sure dinner is on the table and it's just a little bit harder on your own because you're the only person. My husband's name is Tyler Kellogg. He is a captain. His MOS is infantry, so it was a big change for us to come here. My husband has been deployed for 11 months and for almost 11 months to the day. I think the hardest part about this deployment has just been the length. It's been the longest one for us. And we were expecting nine months and then it got extended. So it was explaining that the change in the countdown to the kids and reframing my own brain that things were gonna be just a little bit longer. And you know, we were thinking about, oh, we're gonna do this, this, and this when he comes home. But then we had to just shift things. So yes, it was just the length of this deployment was just very different because it's been the longest one for us. We have been a military family for almost seven years. Um, I have been with my husband since he was newly commissioned. So this is our third duty station together and our third deployment together. And then along the way, we have added two dogs and two kids and two ducks. <laughs> so I think the hardest part about this deployment in particular was my oldest actually realizing that he was leaving. It was very, very hard. Um, the actual day that he left was plain awful um, because he was, he was five years old. He understood that daddy was going to be gone for a while and we didn't know when he was going to be back. And a length of time like that in a five-year-old's life, they can't comprehend it. You know, it feels like a lifetime to them. So it's been trying to work through that and having countdowns and still, you know, connecting with him, with the kids, and finding time to connect as a couple. Positive encouragement that I would give my husband when he was over there is I always made very sure to tell him, even if I was having a hard day, it wasn't, I wasn't having a hard day because he was doing his job over there, I was just having a hard day. And I never made him feel guilty for being away because it is hard. Missing out on almost a year of your kid's life, it's not easy. I mean, we video chatted almost every day and I'm very, very grateful for that. Words of encouragement for anyone else is find ways to connect with your spouse. I have seen friends that have struggled and they've, or they've just focused on the kid's relationship and they've forgotten about the husband and wife relationship going into it, make sure you connect. Make sure you, you find ways to connect with your spouse. For me, it was never making him feel guilty that he's away, but in the same breath, telling him that I miss him. If I am having a bad day, tell him that I'm having a bad day and not trying to hide things because hiding things is just gonna drive a wedge between the two of you. A, uh, a nine-month deployment that uh, stretched to about a year for the brigade. Uh, this was just the latest in what has been the most unique command tour. We witnessed to and were a part of the response to the largest ground invasion in Europe since D-Day. And this conflict is far from over. It will be the subject of uh, countless studies and books. And I am honored to have uh, stood there alongside you and your soldiers. I just want to say best wishes, Godspeed, thank you. Duty first.
to do together as a family is just be us. Do things that the kids want to do, make sure I'm doing something that he really wants to do, something he's missed being able to do. We love cooking together, so he's already been planning all the meals that he wants to cook, the food that he's missed being over there. So that is something that's very, very important to us, is being in the kitchen together as a family. So I think we're going to be doing a lot of cooking over the next couple of days. <laughs>